I had full intention of going out tonight to do some Astro. It is way too cold. And I knew it would be because it just snowed a couple days ago, but I think I'm going to stay inside for sure. Because, damn. Super cold. Anyways, so far we've taken out three trolls and we have uh, Deke over there eating some popcorn. I think I'm going to do a side mission, so before I do that, I'm going to brew up a potion. Got my smoothie. Life is good, man. Life is really good. All right. All right, so let's do one quest here, side mission. Grow and harvest flex weed. I do have that. Well, that's how I get flipendo. I get to do Shadow of the Estate. So we are going to, I guess, help Sebastian. <clears throat> and he is all the way over here. So, let's set a waypoint for travel here. And then we will meet Sebastian. What are you up to now? Helping a idiot do some stuff. All right. Let's fly. Let's get our flight on. I'm gonna put my uh, broom on cruise control. I guess you can do that. And look at this shield, man. I'm just trying to get to Fieldcroft, man. Found the edge of the map. And in camp if I ever saw one. Do that after we help sea bass. He's right next to one, man. What up, sea bass? You made it. Ain't hold on. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Oh, 
Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Well, I'm ready for some ass kickery. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Yeah. And I know how hard it must be, but, uh, I'm gonna take your shit. <laughs> I like how they, she just, like, takes shit. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated <laughs> by what happened to me. And by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian. And his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. Mm hmm. And I'll take. And I'll eat your food as well. <laughs> that boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. 
If there is a cure, you will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Oh, wait. Look what I'm wearing. That rhymed. Oh, I guess I am wearing that. <clears throat> it just doesn't look black. Like it did. You know what I mean? Maybe it's not really black, I don't know. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Oh, they will die. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. I'd usually just fly up there, but uh, I'll follow you. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only a wizard is a dead wizard in my book. from shoes to chapeau. Your countless get is over with. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! 
I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried yeah, it was to a, it was a hairy one, wasn't it? Damn. The trolls. Goblins. Goblins. Vivelio. Get some loot, though. Hold on. <clears throat> Man, we're all fighting in a small area, too. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, and rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be you seen trying to tell a and not story, heard. Bro? A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It sounds as if the Loyalists attacked Anne without cause. I wouldn't put it past them. But I'm convinced that they were trying to hide something. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And... At Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Sure. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Revelio. I've heard the goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. <laughs> Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Revelio. I thought I could get into that. <clears throat> Always armed and ready for a fight, Reynolds Loyalists. What are you doing, Sebastian? Sea bass, come on. <clears throat> Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelio. Wait, hold on. And get this chest, yo. What we do, this 
This well looks familiar. Oh, mine. Sebastian, I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Will you? Because... We're waiting. <laughs> Revelio. Sebastian, I... over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian. Does it though? This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you. I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And yeah. now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh, and much, yeah. this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch Keepers hundreds of years ago. If you I didn't it. know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Damn, look at those badass gloves, man. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Could I don't you know, there's only one way to find out. Huh, a stairwell. Rebellion. You just go down there, motherfucker. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Look at these vines, man. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. Damn, dude, spill <laughs> the beans, <laughs> I knew yo. you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. 
Well then, invisible secrets ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Oh, we're gonna die. Just let you know. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. This is a side mission? This is really good. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note? Let's have a look. I was just over there. Anything helpful in the notes? Nope. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry. I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. So, I'm just gonna... Revelio. Leave you in a creepy basement. So, is that what's happening here? <clears throat> Meet Natty after dark. Tent astronomy class. Sure, why not? Let's go over there. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. See you, sea bass. Just going, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. motherfucker. Hey, it's that castle where I'm pretty sure <clears throat> we'll find a really big troll. Pretty sure that's happening right now.
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Maddie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Harlow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? <sighs> no, they didn't. Rockwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, oh, Natty. Rockwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. <laughs> no I... two people know what, what it is. What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to take in. <sighs> it is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. And we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story, one I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. I don't think so. I think we're gonna battle it out. Are you gonna climb that shit? This charm is stronger than I had thought. They do not want anyone getting in. No broomstick. Well, that didn't work. Something with a bit more force. That did it. Let me use it. I'm pretty sure everyone heard that. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, we gotta get rid of that shit. What the fuck? Isn't Natty gonna come with me? Should I be able to <clears throat> climb that? Why is it not happening? <laughs> I should be able to just climb that. Revelio. But, uh, it's not happening. Is there another box hanging out? Uh. I should just be able to <clears throat> climb up it like this. strange. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Revelio. It's Revelio. Awkward man. <laughs> what the hell?
I can't get in there. Pavelio. Maybe around here. Revelio. Dead end. Must be another way in. Ah, but I can win Guardian. Leviosa. Looks as if it might raise the gate. Closer. I'm pretty sure everyone heard that. How do we keep the main gate open? I guess that's the other question. Definitely a Depulso. <clears throat> I just don't know how to, uh... Revelia. Keep the gate open. I mean, this is a... What kind of puzzle is this, man? It is frustrating that we do not study apparition until our sixth year. We could get past this gate instantly. Open the main gate. Revelio. I mean, I wish I could, like, I almost want to put something under it. You know? Hmm. 
And there was a clue. It says push the gate open. Don't blast it. Revelia. Doesn't that look like another lever of some sort? Revelia. Leviosa. Can't pick that up. Revelia. It's not something I can interact with. Dude, why don't you just climb in there with me, bruh? You know what I mean? Slowed it down. Try something, but I doubt it's gonna work. Well, it doesn't work at all. There's that. There's another thing there. where we entered in. I feel like I'm missing something here. Revelia.
gate doesn't stay open, though. Rebellion. And that's locked. What the hell, man? I feel like I can get up there. Oh. Got it. All right. Pavelio. Now we're making a little bit of progress. There's a hook right there. Is that my whole purpose of coming up here was to get that chest? See anything else? Confringo. Yeah, 
thought for sure this would be Pavelia. fun. And I could see it open, but it doesn't stay open. Revelio. Sorry, but uh, there's no letting you in. Dude, I, how am I supposed to do that? I will be right up. Oh, okay. I knew you could this do wasn't it. Spinning this way. It I will get the door. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find <clears throat> Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. 
I hear them. There's a big yeah. troll in there. The yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. High wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Can they take back the river yeah, I do. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Ah! Blast it! Oh, there's got to be a, another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. I can easily fly up there, but uh, it's not letting me. Revelio. Thinking in terms of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination, in my opinion. Get to the roof. Man, it's like puzzle after puzzle, man. We gotta. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. We gotta save Highway. <laughs> Oops. Maybe I wasn't supposed to uh, push it down that far. Revelio. Just can't blast through there. Ha. I definitely moved that out of the way. Like a balloon, man. Not the safest place to sneak into. He dead. Revelio. Where if I should? I mean, we can go in there, gangbuster style, but be like. Be like we need to be quiet about this. <laughs> that dude just walked out of there and he just friggin' straight killed his ass. Definitely got some death touch here. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Fell off the roof, bruh. That's funny, dude. Everyone fell off the roof at once. <sighs> I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. Going home in a wooden box. Am I? Let me out, sir. No! Battle each other, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Wasn't expecting that. Got some ancient magic, though. How does no one hear us like blasting? Hello, Cool, because I think this is where we get high wing. Where else would he be here? Pavelio. Right, go there. Let's check this out over here. Oh. Hi, Wing. It's all right. There we go. How did Nanny get on there? You know what I mean? There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. Epic, dude. <laughs> Epic. 
epic Edo, dude. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> oh, it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? that Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Later, bitch. Nice. We got Highwing. Caligo. New beast inventory slots unlocked. Nice, dude. So where do we stash when Highwing? When you have a anyways? moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. Highwing! Go! I guess I just park them there at Hogwarts, right? What do you do with him? <laughs> you know what I mean? Much faster than Broom. You just can't take High Wing everywhere, you know? No need to race now, my friend. Oh, totally disappeared. Oh, cool. Nice. What do we got here? That's pretty wholesome. Uh, let's see. That sounds like fun. Oh, 
levitated enemy descendo. Troll bogey, so I will need to find and defeat a troll to complete her assignment. I feel like I don't... Well, it's a good thing I've already killed a bunch of trolls. we can attend astronomy class. Seeing how as I didn't do any astronomy tonight. <laughs> I'll beam into the charms classroom. She did say that. I thought she did. I hope you know that it isn't true. Well, of course you see what this motherfucker wants. Oi! Can you help me? Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Why would I want to decipher an old map? For the sheer knowledge of it, Hogwarts fascinates me. Plus, you can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Hey, I'm not doing that one, man. Finally going to class. Maybe. I don't get lost in the hallway. <laughs> mm, this is my room of requirement. Nice. A secret lair. Esta es secreto. She just you can't everywhere. imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. You're the flu powder. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. 
With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Hey. I'm doing a little astro tonight, after all. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? What are you saying? I should have went out? <laughs> Tonight and froze my ass off? I don't think Dismissed. so. Dismissed. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. I can't do that, Ahmed. You might need it. No, really. You can. And I won't. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby, either. Goblin-cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I... Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I'm I have some uh, pants. reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Well, good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to do the telescope? This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. I think it's morning now. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it.
The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes? What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But... Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. All right. I suppose I can go with you. I hope it's worth it. It will be. Trust me, I have read practically everything there is to read about this. It should be brilliant. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Mine. Onwards we go, then. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Right, hold on. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Dude, I haven't even been in the classroom. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Revelio. Oh, look, there's this uh, right here. Amit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. <laughs> oh. You will then. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Confringo! More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, Look, no. Not this close to the school, Emmett. I think you... Well, that's what these are. Out. See astronomy table. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Looks like Vega. Or uh, Lyra, I should say. That's what it looks like. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart.
meet. Could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Yeah. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? It's According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. How am I supposed to... Do this. Yeah, see, it's Lyra. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Whatever you say, Emmett. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, you wait. You are going to be quoted saying just that. This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Find astronomy tables. Eh? <sighs> Never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Ooh. Main storyline pop-ups but we're not ready to do that anyways uh, i think that's gonna be it for this one and uh i guess we'll see you in the next peace <laughs>